Hello and welcome to the second team test with myself and my good friend Q. Hello. That's a better intro than the last one we just recorded. <laughs> 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 but yeah, today we're testing the BMW M4 because it is a rival towards the Lexus RCF, which we've recently tested. And uh, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> Right, so I believe the first thing we started on last time was Lux Q. Yes, it was. So, how do you feel about the BMW's Lux? Well, it's definitely got a better front grille than the Lexus. Because mm -hmm. because uh, the Lexus one looks, I want to say, good. Looks a bit like a Hoover. Uh, yes, basically. Yeah. It doesn't sound like one, though. That's the it thing. doesn't look as aggressive as I thought an M4 would, though. The arse does. Yeah, the arse looks very aggressive. <laughs> that looks good. The arse is bloody brilliant. Yeah, especially the man with the carbon fibre on it. <laughs> yes. So you've made yours lighter. It's not actually any lighter, it's just stickers, don't worry. <laughs> God's sake. <laughs> but uh, I believe we went into the interior and... Yes. I can't lie, the interior looks much better than the Lexus did. No, it doesn't. You don't think it does? No, the the Lexus, I thought, was a lot more luxurious than this. Okay. Well, I suppose this is more of a sports car than a GT like the Lexus. True. But I do like the carbon fibre, I do like the sat-nav screen. The steering wheel is very nice. It's not bad. It's got too many buttons on it for my liking. Yeah, it does have a lot of buttons on it, to be fair. It's like trying to be like a Ferrari 458 or something. Yeah. Pressing the does flappy paddles. Thing... The, the flappy paddles look like they're made out of plastic, so... <laughs> I wouldn't say that's a good feature. Yeah. But, uh, Probably yeah. 300 quid extra. So, on the looks... 300 credit extra. Well, what would you say on looks, Q? Would you say it looks good, or...? Well, I mean, if it was part of that size your driveway, I, I'd I'd give it a good stare yeah. for about five seconds. Be like, he's got a BMW M4 coupe. It looks quite good. It just all depends on the colour. As long as it's not pink. Yeah. Like, the Yas Marina Blue that you've got looks good, and I think the white that I've got looks good. It does look good. But there is a few colours, like red. Red would really not suit this car. No. That's too it's much. It's like that gold off. which you can get for it. Yeah, the gold, like it's like a piss yellow. I don't like that. Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't look good. On the old M3s and stuff like that, it looked really good. But on this, I think it's too big to pull off a color like that. Yeah, mm. definitely. So the next thing we did was noise cue. So how do you think it sounds? Just give yours a little rev. Well, let's let's find out. Sounds good. Sounds yeah, alright. Yeah. Despite it having a turbo on it. Yeah, it's a twin turbo inline six, I believe. Yes. Which is it's not another V8. word for weak. Yeah, turbocharging is for the weak. But uh V8's it's, are better. I'll give you a bit of a clearer listen to the sound on my screen now, because Q's is a little bit quiet. Of course. Luckily, yours is just as quiet as mine, which is fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's just as quiet, but like it's more clear on my audio. <laughs> so sound-wise, it's a meh for me. <laughs> I think it's okay. it's it's good up until six thousand RPM. Yeah, to six thousand, it sounds quite realistic, but then after that, it doesn't sound good. Doesn't mm. sound realistic af at all after six thousand. Not really, no. Yeah. But I mean, I mean, I guess it's time to get into the drifting segment if you're ready, Q. All right, let's see what we can do. Let's just uh, watch Q here, and uh, feel free to go when you're ready. Right, well, here we are on the the gold brake test calipers track. on yours look good, by the way. Thank you. It was, it was a perfectly standard option on this car. <laughs> yeah. Didn't have to pay like 700 quid extra for them, did you? No. no. <laughs> um, 
Well, first thing I can immediately report after going through the first couple of corners here, feels quite good, not very much body roll. There's some nice flames coming out your exhaust there on the downshift. Yeah, the downshifts are fantastic when you hear the blipper. Yeah. Wonderful. A bit of a Scandi flick there. <laughs> oh, oh, well, I'm fighter. Oh. Okay, it doesn't have... <laughs> <laughs> He's written off the, have... now, the now old BMW M4. Yeah, there it is. It doesn't feel as responsive as you'd thought a BMW would be. Right. Especially an M Sport car like this. Yeah. This is like the top of the range BMW's 4, four Series. Yeah. And it's... It's diabolical, I guess. It's the apex, as you do. Are you drifting? You don't need to hit the apex. Yeah, now, here well, is a tricky a bit, corner yeah. for you to drift here, next to the the little lake. Oh, he's tried to Scandi flick it. He's pulled it off well. He's very close oh. to the wall. Fighter. It, it wants to drift, but it, I I don't trust it. It's like, it's like going out with an axe murderer. You don't know when they're going to stab you. You treat them nice, you treat them like they're your best friend in the world, and then before you know it, you turn around and bam, there's the knife straight in the heart. No, I mean, if it's an okay. axe murderer, why would he be using a knife? <laughs> well, well, uh, it, it looks like a knife, doesn't it? I but suppose sharp. it's sharp. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't sound the good. The engine noise is good. The engine noise is very good, up until 7,000 RPM. It kind of just sounds like it's getting choked to death. I have to say, in the replay cam, it doesn't sound good. Mm -hmm. That was a very nice drift, though. It, it, I, I, you don't know what it's going to do when you turn on the wheel. Okay. It, Does it feel a bit numb? A little bit, yeah. It's, it's, as I say, it's not as responsive as the Lexus, which is a bit of a surprise. Yeah. To me. Two laps queue, remember. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So it does look good in the blue. Yeah. Try and give it a good drift here. Yeah. It says. Bit of a scandy flick again. Oh hello. She's gone round on me. He's lost it. <laughs> oh, he's pulled it off like he meant to hey, do it yeah, though. Yeah, <laughs> I meant that. <laughs> meant I meant that. You know, I like I like creating smoke. <laughs> It's really more let's, spins than the Lexus. Let's have a look I from the, the actual exterior cam. Let's have a listen. It, nice. It's not... I'm not feeling as confident drifting this as I was with the Lexus. Yeah? If I'm brutally honest. I think the that Lexus... might be because it's a little bit lighter than the Lexus. What? How much does this weigh? One, 1,500? I believe kilos? it's around 1,500, 1,600 kilos. Whereas the Lexus, I think, was 1,700. At least 1,700, 1,800. Yeah. This is a a lighter beast. It does could it, be that. Does it feel as fast down the straight as the Lexus? I'd say it could give it a run for its money, I think. Yeah. And despite the power deficit, and this thing has... Only 425 brake horsepower. It does have more torque, torque, though, because of the turbos. True. But you have to be quite high on the revs, though, for them to start working. Yeah. I think that might be why you're struggling to drift it, because of the turbos. Yeah. I'll give it some down here. That's fourth gear, 110, 120, 125, 130, 135, 140 into fifth. Flat. Oh my goody. Whoa, 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 whoa. It doesn't like it. It doesn't like it, okay. It really doesn't. By the way, if you guys want to see, we have already done a drag race video with the Lexus and the BMW, so be sure to check that out if you're interested. If you want to see a track battle between the two. Yeah, we can definitely arrange a track battle. Like I think it would be a good race between. I also think it would. But I would be driving the Lexus 100%. <laughs> of course. <laughs> the Lexus, for me, feels like the better car. 
considering I haven't driven it yet. Looking yeah, at it, it looks I, like how a can you say car. that? <laughs> yeah, looking at it, it That's looks no like it is the better it. car, handling wise. Yeah. But there you go, <sighs> those Q's drifting. Not happy. Not happy, okay. You have to. Uh, it's, you have to. I think you have to get used to it to drive this car. It's. As I say, it's like going out with an axe murderer, but. You really do have to treat this car with a lot of respect. Yeah? I think so, yeah. But other than that, it, it sounds good, looks good, can't complain with it. I, I want to see what lap time it does. Is it going to be as fast as the Lexus? Well, the Lexus did a 2 minutes 38.984. And what do you think it can do? I'm going to be honest, I don't think it's going to be as quick as the Lexus. Huh? I'll do like a little warm up lap here. Because already I can tell the brakes are a little bit numb. The brakes are a little bit of a disappointment, I think. They feel good when you're high speed braking for after the bridge, I think. And when, yeah, I'm revving it now and it doesn't, um, because the is Lexus is naturally top? aspirated, it doesn't feel as quick as the Lexus at the top end. Mm. Oh, it is a bit of a fighter. She is a fighter. I'm to change gears a little earlier than I want to to keep the turbos going. Yeah. This car has 45 horsepower less. I the believe Lexus. the Lexus over the bridge was doing 138, and I just hit 139 in this. Mm. So, I mean, it, it might be close. Oh, I think it's going to be very close. It's very close. We shall see. But what are your first impressions then? The steering feels numb and the brakes feel numb and the engine doesn't feel as responsive as the Lexus is. The Lexus is a lot more reassuring. 100%. Well, I can't tell you that. I, when I get through this twisty section here, I'll be able to tell you which one is more sure footed. Okay, go for it. Ooh, it takes the curb a little Ooh, bit there. Like the arm, though. Staying in third gear there to use the boost. I think it's got a little bit quicker acceleration than the Lexus. Maybe, yeah, so maybe. Because for the Lexus as well, you've got to really rev that to get the max out of it. But with the Beamer, you can... As I remember, the Lexus else. didn't have this much understeer. No? This feels like it's understeering a lot. They're both on the same tyre compounds, by the way, guys. Nothing has changed with that. Yeah, nothing is... Nothing on these cars are stock. No, they are stock. Too. No, everything <laughs> is stock, you mean. <laughs> yeah, so that's what I was trying to say. Here we go, on to our first flying lap, though. Oh, she's trying to step out a little bit. A little bit, Yeah, I've got to say, it doesn't feel anywhere near as responsive as the Lexus. I'm watching it now. It looks like there's a little bit of body roll going through that left-hander anyway. There is a That's lot of nice. understeer from it. Yeah? Yeah, really struggling to get it turned in. Okay. Mid-turn, it's not bad, but, like, on entry to the turn, there is a lot of understeer. Hmm. Right. Like, like there. It struggles to turn in, but when it does, it's alright. Is Coming there any... The is there any what? Is there any field of disappointment in the brakes? Because I mean, talk about that for a little bit. 140 the through there. The brakes definitely feel... They don't feel good. So it's hard mm -hmm. to explain. They don't give me any confidence whatsoever. Really? Like, with the Lexus, if you pick a braking point, you know if you're going to stop. Mm. Like, if you brake too late, you know you brake too late. Whereas yeah. in this, I can't, I can't judge the braking properly after just a couple of laps. It'd probably take a lot of time to get used to this car. Yeah. 
Here we go though, can we be flat? We can be flat through there. Hard on the brakes. The steering is wiggling a little bit, trying to turn in. Very nice runoff. Thank you. It's beautiful one. Can't be flat through there though, I think I could in the Lexus. Have to lift through the turn there. So it's much awful. understeer through here, that is full lock, everybody. <laughs> that is awful. That was shocking. But you were using all the road. Yeah, we are using all the road. <laughs> Whoa. It's coming now. Let's go. 15 Whoa, seconds. To be big slide. Oh my word. Very big slide. Oh, I think no it's going to be quite a lot quicker than the Lexus. It's going to be faster. It's a 233.3. It's mothered it. It has mothered the Lexus. Let's try to do one more lap, see if we can improve any more. But so far, that is five seconds faster than the Lexus. It's unbelievable. That was definitely not what I was expecting. No, absolutely not. From both of our analysis of the car, it's shocking. Absolutely shocking, but... It feels, it doesn't feel anywhere near as fast as the Lexus. No. But I mean, the timing speaks for itself, I guess. Mm. Obviously, BMW know how to make a quick car. Whoa, they're very doing. twitchy through the. Turning off a bit then. Yeah, I just <laughs> take a second bite of the cherry coming into there. Yeah, I think you're right though, the acceleration does seem quicker than the Lexus is. I think it's the turbo. Yeah, I think it That's probably will be with all the torque. Mm. Fighter. You look at looking at the stats, the Lexus has eight point one on speed. The Beamer has seven point nine. Yeah. I'm gonna name any of the websites. Uh, <laughs> the Lexus has 1.9 on its brakes, the BMW has 2. So they both have pretty the... shocking brakes according to that website. Yes. And the stability for the pair is pretty much the same. I will tell you the BMW the... is a lot less stable than the Lexus. Hmm. Here's the thing. Oh, here we go, here we go. Touching the gravel there. Very bad. <laughs> Very I'm trying to be flat through here now. I'm having to counter steer a lot. Whoa. Nicely held. Nice. Keep it going. Keep your foot in it. Keep your foot in it. Nice. I Good. am not the drifter, but I'm drifting a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, either way. See if I can be any later on the brakes. That was a much better quarter. That was not intended. <laughs> <laughs> but this lap is a lot slower. That's a 237A. It seems a little bit more realistic compared to that one, so you must cut a corner. <laughs> <laughs> Q, if you'd like to come out on track, please. So I will update the rankings now. So the BMW M4 set a lap time of 2 minutes 33.393. So, definitely faster than the Lexus. Very much that is 5.6 seconds faster. Which is which, unbelievable. Which seems very strange to me. Mm. I didn't think it was going to be anywhere near as quick, to be honest. I wasn't expecting that for a time. I thought it was going to be really, really close. but Yeah, I was seconds. also expecting that. The Lexus, However, I don't get that. However, here's something which might throw a spanner in the works. Go on. The Lexus, we remember, cost 95,300 credits. Yes, it did. 95,300. Mm, the BMW M4, 120,000 credits. Mm. So for 5.6 seconds, the Beamer is faster it is, however, twenty-five grand more expensive. Hmm. 
Mm. But would you pay? Well, let's start with you, Q. From your drifting experience, what would you give it out of 10? And is it worth the extra 25 grand over the Lexus? For a dr for drifting purposes, I'd take the Lexus 100% because this thing didn't give me any confidence whatsoever. Mm -hmm. But 25 grand on this game might not sound like a lot, it's still a lot. Well, yeah, for 25 grand, you could get a Fiat 500 a barth on this game. Which is a, a pretty good super mini. It. Yeah, we do want to test that car, come to think of it. Or at least I want to test it. I, I also want to test that, car. we will do. <laughs> Leave it in the comments. Um, but for drifting purposes, I would quite happily say no to £120,000 worth of BMW M4. And you'd take the Lexus? But, absolutely. Okay. So what, what would, would you your do? rating be out of 10 for drifting? Probably, probably a four point five out of ten. I was, four point five. Awful. Wow. Okay. I, I wasn't happy. It was not a good. It wasn't as good as I thought it would be for an M car. No. M cars are fantastic. This one wasn't. Sadly. Okay. I was hoping it would be. Right. Well, but on the other the, end of the spectrum. Yeah, for the time trials. I would say it doesn't give me anywhere near as much confidence as the Lexus. Mm. The steering is a lot more numb than the Lexus. Mm. The brakes feel a lot worse than the Lexus. Mm. Like, I don't know if they are. We'll have to do that in another video, test everything out, and maybe a track battle. Mm. But doesn't feel as good on the brakes as the Lexus. Definitely is not as sure-footed as the Lexus. But then again, I can't argue with the times. It's five seconds really? faster. But £120,000. Mm, that is the... I think for twenty five grand, you could quite easily make the Lexus faster than this. Mm. And for that reason, I'm going to say, in the time trial test, I can't give it any more than a 5 out of 10. 5 out of 10, wow. So, I mean, I guess the results speak for themselves in that term because mm. that's a 9.5 out of 20 for the BMW M4 and the Lexus mm. got 16 out of 20. Mm. So I'm we would both rather have the Lexus. Mm. Absolutely. What would you say, Q? Would you recommend the Lexus over the BMW or would you just rather have it? I think I'd just rather have it plain and simple. Yeah. The one embarrassing thing, though, is that it is a Lexus. That's the thing which is spoiling it. You know, you have to say, well, so what car do you drive? I drive a Lexus. But. Well, technically, it's a Toyota. <laughs> exactly. And that's the thing. You have to say, but. However, see, though, with, with the BMW, these things that I'm pressing now, the indicators. They are an optional extra. <laughs> they are indeed. They, Most they people who have a BMW do not use indicators. No. So, yeah, but results speak for themselves. The BMW is faster. It's more expensive. It's not as good as the drift car. And the rating is not as good as the Lexus. But it is faster. It is faster. Around a track. So but would it beat it on a track battle? We'll, hopefully we'll find out. Yeah, hopefully day. we will find out. But, yeah. I think we would both say to anyone watching, get the Lexus over the BMW. Absolutely. So it's, it's a shocking result. <laughs> very shocking. Very, but, very uh, shocking. yeah. 100%, the Lexus is better in my eyes. And it's Buy cheaper. the Lexus. Buy the Lexus. Yep, there you have it. Buy the Lexus, everybody. Buy but, uh, the Lexus. Yeah. Thank you for watching this team review. Uh, as always, 
if you want to recommend the car, feel free to drop it in the comments. Leave a like, subscribe and all that. <laughs> Thank you, Q, for coming along and helping me film it. Thank you for having me. As, as always, pal, pleasure is all mine. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, <laughs> thank you for watching, and hopefully we'll have more team tests coming up very soon. So take care, everybody, and bye-bye. Have a good day.